Sure, you've heard of this saying, the sins of your fathers are going to catch up to you. The things that your grandparents have done, the demonic worship, the idol worship. Now God is going to condemn you and curse you because of all the sins of these people. See, a lot of people use this scripture in Deuteronomy where the Lord is speaking about how he will judge the sins of the fathers on the children. But he speaks about those who don't believe in him and those who bow down to idol worship. Now, if you're not bowing down to any idols, and maybe you're dealing with some type of attack, a spiritual attack, having a hard time sleeping, you're having nightmares, you're always anxious, you're always fearful, fill in the blank, whatever it may be. I want to read you this scripture in the book of Ezekiel about how God is saying to you, he's not holding the sin of your father or your mother against you. It is what you do that causes things to happen in your life. No altars of secret doorways of demons and demonic activity is the reason why you're facing whatever you're facing is because of the rebellion in your heart let's read ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20 the soul that sinneth it shall die the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him what God is saying, what may be happening to you is because of your own wickedness, your own punishment for the deeds that you've been doing. It's a simple turning away and repenting, asking the Lord to close every door that you may have opened because of your own rebellion and ask him to cover it with the blood of Jesus and you move forward. In this generation, I feel as though we have glorified fear and demonic activity more than the power of God. So if you may be dealing with some type of sexual perversion, lust, fornication, anger, unforgiveness, hatred, and all these things. It's not because somebody else is putting a spell on you or the sins of your father. It's because of the way that you've been living in the secret and of unrepented sin that has allowed this to happen in your life. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to purify us of all unrighteousness. Stop being so afraid about the sins of your grandparents and your father and your mother. God is not looking at their sin to place on you. He's looking at how you live your life. In Jesus' name.